Okay, so now back to the main topic. I finally got my Sasker extensions back as well. I got them, actually I got them the same day I got my hood. I just haven't had the time to install them. And they look a lot better now that they actually got re-cleared. I'm, I'm glad I went with this route instead of just trying to polish them because they weren't really that shiny. Um, but I'm not gonna waste any more time. I'm kind of fighting with the daylight right now. So let me go ahead and I get started and um, I'll show you guys the results in just a little bit. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. And this is actually, the second part of the video, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to be doing it, but I started this video yesterday and I actually ended up running out of time. It got dark on me and I wasn't able to finish. So, I kind of want to start where I left off at. And so, in this video, as you guys saw by the title, I'm installing the new uh, Sasker extensions. These were actually used. They're the Forceworks uh, extensions if anybody's interested in them. And, uh, yeah, so they're a lot more aggressive than the M Performance style and they're actually going to flow a lot better than the ones that I have now with the rest of my uh, entire lip kit. Now, I'm going to show you guys what the difference is. Now, on the M Performance, you guys know that it's just a small piece which normally comes up to like right here and then you just have to put a double sided tape but it's actually a flat piece. Now with these, I tried putting tape on this end and on that end, on the other, on the one that I did already. And for some reason, it wasn't making much contact, so I just kind of scrapped the idea. And also, I figured if I ever needed to remove them, it was going to be a pain if I had double-sided tape going all the way across. So as you guys can see, these were already drilled into the side skirts of the previous owner. And that's the same holes that I'm using. I'm not sure what I'm going to do here, but I'm just going to pick one. And uh, these were supposed to mount to the factory points that are underneath the car. But for some reason, I was playing with it on the other end. And the little plastic tabs that are supposed to go in here just did not want to go in. So I had to scrap that idea, go back to the first method, which is going to be to just draw the holes and have them on there. Because these are actually, honestly, they feel about twice as heavy as the in performance stuff. So I didn't really want to just rely on double-sided tape, so I had no choice but to, to draw the other ones in. So here's the end performance style. So you guys can see they're nice. It's, it, you know, it's a subtle uh, Sasker extension, nothing too crazy. And now let's go to the force work. Bam. So you guys know these actually stick out a lot more than the in performance style. Which as you guys know the JHP lip actually sticks out further out. So to me that makes more sense to have these along with that lip. Kind of just give you guys a view from back here. And also it matches well with the uh, rear bumper extensions that I have now on the car. So even though these flare out, and then here it kind of goes in, and then back out, it still makes more sense to have. But I'm super happy with these. These were the ones that I wanted from the beginning, except I just couldn't see myself, you know, dishing out $700 to pay for these. But luckily I got lucky and I found them used for like a really good price and then I just had them re-clear coated so they, now they look pretty much brand new. Let's see if you guys can see the actual shine of it. So th as you guys know, this is the one by one weave. I mentioned it in the other video, but here's the uh, two by two. Not much different, but at the same time you can tell, but it's all right, I mean, I'm willing to deal with it. There's a better angle of it. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, get the other one off, and then so we can put that one on. Then I'll show you guys the final result. One hour later.
right guys we're finally done with the soccer extensions it took a little bit of playing around but i finally got them on there you guys can see they look really good or at least i think so so now that i have the soccer extensions the m3 style mirror shout out to thick the rear extensions i just need to get the spoiler and hopefully the rear diffuser from aa concepts whenever that comes out and um now we got the GTS style hood. And we're just waiting on the DHP lip to go on there. I have it, I just don't have it on the car and I'm not gonna put it on there officially until I actually get it um, wrapped in that protective film. Uh, you guys know what I'm talking about. But yeah, so I have a five hour drive ahead of me so I'm not gonna put on the lip. I'm just gonna wait till I get to the show and uh, yeah I think I mean the car is almost completely done exterior wise I'm still kind of debating if I want to switch to the M3 style grills I like these but I also like the dual slats I know I'm doing the giveaway for the dual slats just because I know more people prefer those so that's why I decided to go with the dual and if you don't know about that giveaway I do have a video that's labeled I believe uh, 1k giveaway so if you actually go on there and do hashtag giveaway and just drop it out, just drop it in the comments, and uh, I'm gonna do a random uh, pick from the uh, the comments, and hopefully it goes to somebody that actually does need them. But if not, then I guess you guys can sell them or I don't know, do something with them, hang them on your wall. But that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'm not gonna be uploading for the next couple of days because I am gonna be on that trip, which is. I'm taking a small weekend trip uh, just to kind of hang out and then enjoy the show. So, um, yeah, guys, thank you, and I'll see you guys in the next one.